couple of weeks ago, I was reading through a thread on Reddit where the OP asked for crazy ideas of features for future smartphones. One of the highest voted comments was a request for Android to include a feature that automatically mutes the volume for notifications and calls anytime the screen is on. The thought was, if I'm looking at my phone, then I don't need to be alerted to a notification or phone call via an audio alert because I'm actively looking at the phone. So after some testing, I wanted to create a tutorial that did exactly that. If you're familiar with the automation tutorials that I do here on the channel, you know that I tend to prefer MacroDroid. So with the help of that application, we're going to easily create a macro that automatically adjusts the volume levels on Android depending on if the screen is on or off. This process does not require root access, but it will require us to set up some additional permissions for the macro droid application itself. So we first start by opening up macro droid. And after you get through the intro screen, you're going to want to tap the add macro button here. And then we're going to set a trigger. And now we're going to come up here to the top and search for the word screen. And you can see here in the device section, we have an option for screen on and off. We're going to set this to screen on since we want to mute these audio sliders every time the display is on. And then we're going to set our action. This time we're going to search for volume. And you can see in the volume category, there is a macro labeled volume change. We're going to tap on that, but it's going to tell us that we first must enable a special permission. So we're going to tap on OK. We're going to find macro droid in this do not disturb permission section and then go back to macro droid. So that this time, whenever we tap on volume change, we're given the full slate of options here. So for compatibility purposes, we are going to check the set volume in foreground option. Now you can experiment with this with this being off, but as it says, some devices may prevent setting the volume whenever it's in the background. So we're going to set the volume in the foreground. And now we're going to go through and we're going to change all of the volume levels that we want to change when the volume is off. So let's say, for example, we only want to mute notification volume whenever the screen is off. So we check the notification box. So now whenever this macro is executed, it's going to change the notification volume and set it to zero. Now, if we want, we can also do this to the ringer volume for phone calls. And we can continue to do this for other options such as system sounds. So right now we have the notification ringer and system sounds all set to change the volume to 0% when this macro is executed. So now that we have done our macro for whenever the screen is on, Let's create a macro for whenever the screen is turned off. So we go back home, tap the add macro button there at the top. Screen off. And we're going to set up the trigger to happen whenever the screen has been turned off. Now, when the screen is off, now we want the volume to go back to what we originally want it to be at. So we go to the trigger for the action. And again, we search for volume and we're going to do a volume change again. So if you remember before, we set the volume in the foreground and we change the volume for the notification, the ringer and the system sounds. 
So now whenever the screen is on, we want the volume, say we want it set to 66%, 62%, 61%. We can change these to whatever volume we want them to be on. If you only want this to change volume for notification, then we ignore the other two options. Or if we only want it to happen for notifications and the ringer, we only change these two options. It's up to you. You can customize this however you want. And once it's set up, we tap on OK. So now we have a macro to change the volume up whenever the screen is off. So now we go back, we're going to tap on save. And now we have two macros set up. We have one that changes the volume whenever the screen is off and one that changes the volume whenever the screen is on. Now, as long as you have macro droid enabled here at the top right with this toggle. So let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to use push bullet to send a test message. You can type out testing and press enter. And now we're going to wait for push bullet notification to come in. We can see the notification has come in, but we did not hear any alerts for it. So now we're going to turn the screen off. We're going to do a test number two. And now when I press enter, you can see the volume has changed. We've got that notification in. And just as you could hear, that notification came in because the volume had been increased. So whenever we go unlock the phone, you can see test two has appeared. Continuing on with this test, we can do a test number three to show you that even though it was, the volume was just up, whenever I send test number three, it's not going to play that notification sound because the screen is on and macro droid is doing the work for us. If you're wanting to set this up on your phone, you can follow along with me in the video as I set it up for you right here. I'll also be including download links for both the screen off and the screen on macros. So that if you want, you could download those macro files and import them directly into MacroDroid without having to set them up yourself. I do recommend after you have imported them to come back here and configure these settings so that they are exactly how you want them. And then you can save them just as you would whenever you created them. So you can either manually input them or you can download and import them into the application itself. You can see how useful MacroDroid can be at creating custom macros to help you in almost any situation. I really enjoy how Android can automate things like this. So if you have an idea for something useful that could be automated, let me know in the comments section below and I'll see what I can come up with.